Taylor Lorenz, the person that you use as a source to attack yours truly as a misogynist and all this other BS, yeah, apparently they have very unclean hands. Apparently, they've been propped up by people like you while they've scammed. While they've done exactly what you say, oh, it's totally terrible out there, and and you haven't cared. Again, you prop them up like authority. Joke's on you, and it's going to be fun pointing this out. <laughs> because Taylor Lorenz, the Rolling Stone, all of these places, they prop this man up like he was an authority online. Like he actually had some type of insight into behavior, and his site's a scam. It's an absolute scam. It's just a bunch of damn buzzwords. It's 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 giving weight to hashtags and to words that he doesn't like up there. Right here, we have a member of the Sussex Squad. That's the uh, Meghan Markle stands uh, coming out and saying, "Our very own Chris Boozy sharing his expertise with what might be close to a billion viewers." That's a lie. So, anyways, you've got our friend Boozy. Here he is right here in this Netflix special. This is a, a stand, a still image from that Netflix special where he says, it's all about hatred. It's all about race, of course, because this is their grift. This is their thing. Yellow Flash says, Boozy blocked me. Yeah, yeah, get in line, bro. He blocked pretty much me. He's blocked pretty much everybody in the chat. Guys, if you're blocked by Boozy, um, you know, drop a, drop a B in the chat. Drop a B in the chat. But look at this. It's only a minute long. Oh, man, the comments, like I say, they're brutal, too. It's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened? There was a war against Meghan to suit other people's agendas. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. Pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution. You caught that? It's a dirty game. Who is that again? It's about hatred. You recognize? It's about race. Oh, look, he's got a new suit, and he's not broadcasted from his kitchen. <laughs> What's going on? The world is backwards here. Boozy stepping up. He managed to get him a new tie and a new suit <laughs> and the same old neck. <laughs> and funny enough, the media <laughs> is actually starting to to look at who Boozy is, but not in a good way. They started exploring, and guess what they found today? They found Nate the lawyer. <laughs> That's right. They ran across Nate the lawyer. They ran across the lawsuit with that, and oh my God, it's it has been a day of hilarity because... <laughs> You have all of these places starting to ask questions. But next thing I know, I'm getting blown up by the media from all around the world. All around the world. Hey, we saw your lawsuit. Hey, how come no one has checked this guy out? How come this guy who seems to have no background in any of this stuff, how is he being called to be this expert? How come no one has looked at that? Me these questions, right? <laughs> this is great. They're like, Do you have do you have any evidence to show? So I'm like, sure. Here's the bankruptcy complaint, here's the bankruptcy filing, and they're looking at it like, how do we not know this? How did Harry and Megan hire this guy? Right now, my phone is ringing with someone with, from, a, <laughs> I don't know, every time I pick it up. Hey, I'm a journalist from Australia, and I want to talk to you about Chris Boozy because it seems like he's a scam. I'm like, what? <laughs> it even got to the point where they even were saying, they were like, this guy is a is a hired gun for Megan Markle and Amber Heard. And I'm like, we've been saying that for all this stuff. <laughs> I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm -hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. The reason why the world media is contacting me is because Boozy's in this documentary. And what they did was look up Boozy.
And when they saw Boozy, they saw our lawsuit. It's, and I, I was going to say my lawsuit, but it's not. It's our lawsuit. They saw our lawsuit. And they read through that lawsuit and said, wow, this is done very professionally. And this looks strange. Why would Boozy be involved in this type of lawsuit? And they looked through it. And then they started contacting me like, oh, my God, this guy seems sketch. So when I picked up the phone, they're like, yeah, we read your lawsuit. And a lot of this stuff seems sketch, right? A lot of this stuff seems sketch. Can you explain it to us? Can you explain it to us? So that's why I said, you know what? I'm going to jump on here and just regurgitate exactly what we already know. Because the news media is watching this now. Matter of fact, papers that Boozy's been in have contacted me and said, we need to know about this guy because there may be, you know, maybe some retractions in the future. This is a self-owned by the Meghan Markle, Harry, and Netflix documentary people. And this is a self-owned because no one was talking about us, right? But when Boozy popped up on that screen, claiming to be the expert, whoopsie doodle, right? Whoopsie doodle. Let's look him up. And the first thing that comes up in a Google search is Nate, the lawyer's lawsuit. And it's funny because even they said, how, they said, we saw the lawsuit. He says, you're not an attorney. He's like, this guy is ridiculous. I'm like, yeah, he said that. He said, you're this. He said, you're this. He said, this, this guy, he's defaming people. He said, this guy assaulted a woman. I said, yeah. He said, he just does this. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Just look at his Twitter feed. And then he started looking at his Twitter feed. <laughs> I said, yeah, this guy's a maniac. This, and you know what? It's interesting because one of the journalists actually said, so he's actually the harasser. And I'm like, yeah. They said, this is so weird. Because we were told he was the one just pointing out the harassment. We didn't know he was doing the harassment. Wow. Crazy, right? In freaking same and they also talked about the dis the disabled thing they were like we we heard he was attacking you for being disabled i said yeah here's the tweets right they're like this is disgusting and now it's time to do what we've always said we need to do we need to make sure that we have our story straight make sure our receipts are proper and when we give those little receipts and they have them and they know what's going on boom then it's not then then it's just then either they're going to write it up right up the truth or write up the lie we can't put it up but as long as we are confident, you know. I've told them everything that that you guys have told me. We've went over Liberty Coin, went over Black Coin. I've sent them the bankruptcy stuff. I sent them the harassment stuff. I've sent them the bankruptcy stuff. Like they've got it all. It's all up to them now. He's playing the victim card for someone, right? But the problem here is, look, here's the Daily Mail, for example. Tech CEO who made cruel comments about Prince and Princess of Wales aging appears in new explosive trailer for Harry and Meghan. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, he made fun of some other people? Oh, but you see, that's the problem. He's a bully for hire. To all major news outlets calling, this is where I'll be spilling the deans. <laughs> so he did a live stream and he had a good turnout. He had around 3,000 people watching. Yeah, there were a lot of people curious about Mr. Bourgeois. Bougie claimed he was being paid by Megan, then retracted that claim so he could look impartial. The authors of the book Finding Freedom also claimed they did not work with Harry and Megan. That was a lie. This is going to be good. And that's true, too, actually. That is absolutely true. And then social media background report on Mr. Bougie. If you look at this, this is mask off, though. All jokes aside for a minute. This is the moment right here where you really get to find out whether or not the media might actually take aim because they wanted Amber Heard to have her comeback moment. The royals, especially in the UK media, they, they'll eat you alive for that. You know, the same places, like it's funny. See, Chris Boozy ended up, ended up side by side with places like The Sun. The Sun will fucking eat him alive. Because the son loves to go after the royals. And him being like racist, this or that. Oh, they may do an expose on him. He may not enjoy that. You know, you cozy up to... Ah, you cozy up to garbage. Well, don't be surprised when you find that you stink. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not going to get that smell off of you. You know, you, you had him running... Out there again, running as an apologist for places like the sun. And it's, uh, you know, it's again fascinating. And I know this for a fact. The media has been reaching out to people trying to find out more about Chris Boozy. 